Hey y'all, this is Eric at uh, Green River Outdoors. Uh, we're down here in Orlando in Florida. Or we're setting up for a little hog hunt, trying to a little bait station. And I uh, kind of want to show you our setup and how we kind of do things down here. So it's one of the many ways you can work with hogs, but uh, let's show you mine. Let me reverse the camera here. Of course, as always, starting off with uh, the number one thing you got to have is a good game camera so you can track them. Uh, this is our covert MP6 Black. Uh, you can get these from Kyle or Nick through Green River Outdoors. Uh, they're completely awesome cameras. I used it up in uh, Greensburg this year on uh, several hunts, so I'm really, really happy with it. Now, looking over here, what we've got is um, is kind of our feed station here. What I've done is uh, dug a hole about 12, 18 foot, or excuse me, 12, 18 inches in the ground, and put layers of uh, corn and uh, dry Kool-Aid. And the Kool-Aid, what it does, it, it acts as an attractant. It's really sweet smelling. I mean, it's really strong smell if you've ever stuck your nose in a canister of it. But it just kind of helps get them to it a little bit quicker and keep them on it. Being down in a hole, they have to actually work harder and they kind of root at it. And with their natural root action, I mean, it's they'll just they'll they'll make a pretty good hole with this. So what else we have out is we got some Sigma Eversent, and we've got the wild uh, wild boar, the wild hog and the very berry um, center tractants. So we'll see between the corn and the tractants and see if we can get anything in here. I don't know if you can tell over here, you can see a great big old root bag back over there and back over here, you can see a real trail where they've been going through, um, through here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up back down there uh, when we get we start patterning them, getting them in here. So um, I just wanna show you uh, why some people are just really um, hot and heavy on getting rid of hogs and just show the kind of damage they can do. This is kind of a wooded area and stuff out there, out pretty rural. But you can imagine if you were, you know, you had a cow pasture and, or, you know, some kind of bean field or something like this, and you can see the damage these things do. There's another one of our bait stations with some Sigma. And, uh, but you can start seeing in the more wetter ground this is all hog rooting here. And you see, it just looks like somebody been hit through here with a tiller. So when you get you get some nice pastures and stuff, and uh, these things get out here, they make it danger dangerous for uh, livestock and you know working with tractors because they can root big holes and so it, they can cause some really really severe damage. Little update on one of our uh, bait stations. As you can see, there's a uh, been several. Uh, Quite a bit of activity here at the site. You can see trails coming where they're actually coming down through there. And uh, so, anyways, we'll check the, uh, the game card and see what we got on it, see if we can get any kind of pattern on them and go from there. He folded right over. Hey y'all, this is Eric with Green River Outdoors. Uh, you can see what we did tonight. We've been out hog hunting in Central Florida with my buddy Josh here, my cameraman. And uh, we uh, spotlighted two hogs, which is legal in Florida to do on private land. So you can see the one right here, it's in our corn pit. And then you see the other one right here that we've taken out with a headshot. Just wanted to show you that. They're both sows, as you can tell by the teats. This one right here, we had to put a second shot on because we didn't finish her off with the first shot. And then we got this one right here. 
that, as you can tell, was uh, she went down, crumpled on the first shot. So, sponsor Rich at uh, Eversent, uh, Sigma Eversent. If you just shine over there, you'll see our Eversents. Our bait holes basically empty, and what's been bringing them in is these Eversents. So, uh, Rich, appreciate it, buddy. You done good. The wild boar, the wild sow, and the berry scents, they worked awesome. Hey y'all, this is Eric with Green River Outdoors out here on a hog hunt today with my son. And uh, we had two hogs come in tonight. One of them uh, we took, the other one we couldn't get a second shot on. Unfortunately, we didn't get no uh, footage on the, the kill because it came up on an angle where I couldn't do anything with it. And uh, so, sorry about that. Um, we just came out here today, put some corn in. As you can tell, they haven't even touched it yet. And, uh, but what's been bringing these hogs in is, uh, the Eversent, uh, Sigma Eversense, the wild boar, the wild sow, and the, uh, wild berry. So, just wanted to show you, go on in there with it, Josh. Now, one of the things that we do in here in Florida, we try not to touch hogs without having gloves on, mainly just because, uh, they have a disease called brucellosis, and it's safe not to without gloves, so, uh, there's my son Josh who uh, got his first hog tonight and uh, we're tickled and we're going to go make some bacon. We'll talk to y'all later. Well here's Josh with his uh, his hog. You can see uh, 270 put it on the money right behind the ear. Hit the ground, kicked a couple times and that was about it. So. Congratulations to my son Josh. I'm proud of him. Got his first hog. Love you.